All right. I haven't streamed in a while here, so I'm just testing out some of my settings real quick. Uh, we got some uh, new upstairs neighbors for Todd here. A couple little, couple little turts, little turtle boys. You can kind of see them in the back, right here. That's one of them, and. I think the other guy was hiding over here too. He might be behind the rock now though. But hopefully they'll come out and swim around for us. Uh, there's a whole other section to their enclosure too um, that's got land for them too. But they, they seem to prefer the water most times. So figured I'd put the camera on the water. I'm just sticking his little head up there. They love this, uh, this greenery over in the corner. Tried to put the camera on the other side so it'd be closer to that. Um, but I was having some pretty bad glare issues because of the heating lamp uh, where it's located so you couldn't really see with the camera on that side but I'll play around with it so you guys can see some uh, some of the turtles on the stream um, and we'll set up Todd cam as well um, and I'll hopefully if I get two cameras I can maybe set them up uh, together and we can have um, we can have them interchangeable so so we'll see Todd and his his new uh, upstairs neighbors. Um, they uh, they don't have names yet, um, but I do have final say on those names. So anybody that's watching, uh, if you if you have any uh, interest in helping me name some turtles, that would be awesome. Um, like I said, I haven't streamed in a while. I'm gonna be trying to get back into it at least once a week. Um, and I have some other cool stuff coming out, a little, like, uh, blurb, uh, newsletter type thing, um, that I'm gonna be asking people to subscribe to if they're interested. Uh, it goes over kind of, like, the content that I've been reading for the month and, you know, things that I've noticed in metagames and that kind of stuff. It's just a fun, cute little quick newsletter, but I think it's gonna be, I think it's gonna be cool. Um, so hopefully, hopefully people will be down for that. Um, and then we'll have my streams, my past streams on there as well, so you'll be able to link to those pretty easily. Um, but yeah, today, oop, 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 none of that now. I'm going to play some guild draft. Let's go ahead and switch off of Turtle Cam. Name one Chad. Why Chad? Look at this sweet uh, last guild draft I did. It will drop a Rooney. I only have one trophy. I thought I had more than that, but I think there was a couple like really close to ones that I had. I haven't drafted in quite some time though. How you been, Brian? All right, MTGO turtles to the corner. All right, let's hope for a better draft here. Ugh, don't even have enough packs. That's a bummer. I've been pretty good. Been busy with work and and whatnot. Um, definitely want to get back in the streaming again. I know I, I I I go good for a while and then I fall off. I gotta get some more consistency with it. Um, like I said, maybe just once a week, uh, just so I have some some past videos to post to YouTube and that kind of thing. Because I do enjoy streaming. I just never have the time. If I see, if I happen to see the, uh, the turtles swim out closer, if anybody else happens to see them, just holler. I can, I can pop the, the screen up if you guys want to take a look at them, closer look. Um, you can get a pretty good look at them if they come over to these rocks. How how you enjoying the standard on arena? It's another thing. I I'll probably stream a little bit of arena at some point. Um, I want to test it out a little bit more now that it's got a lot a lot more going on since the last time I played it. Give it another fair chance. Um, the draft form the drafting on there looks pretty cool. So I like how uh, when you draft uh, like if if you're streaming it, people can like vote on picks and stuff. I think that's a really, really sweet feature. I'd like to give that a try if uh if we get a get enough people in the chat one day. Do like a complete chat uh 
draft. Arena's pretty nice or standard? Or both? I mean, obviously you like, uh, you like Arena, but was that comment towards standard format? Both, yeah. <clears throat> I think the standard format is pretty good. I've been watching a lot of it, haven't actually played any, I don't think. Um, but I've certainly watched uh, a bunch haven't been super impressed with this blood operative. That's our rare for the pack. Hmm. Watch of the Mist is pretty good common. Whisper Agent. Our uncommons are not very impressive. Really lovely guild mage. I mean, there's nothing wrong with it. Like it's a it's an Azer mage, right? Sorta. Of. Wizards of Coast did something right for once. Yeah, yeah. The inter integration with in Arena and Twitch is like amazing. I think I'm just gonna take the blue card. This pack's not not super great to us. You like Watcher too, yeah. Could I take the Guild Gate? You always kind of like default to Guild Gates if, uh, if you need to. Guild Summit. Could start. Could start doing that. This thing is interesting. Not great, but interesting. Uh, do, 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 do I want to take the guild summit? There's a disdainful stroke. There's an is it guild gate. Both fine. There's a cyclops. Pretty good for the is it deck. Sonic assault. Not bad. I guess luminous spawns is not bad. Some choices here. I think I'm going to just take the guild gate. Hmm. Pack's kind of poop. Only blue card is Wall of Mist, so that's not good for us. Devour. Cards. Interesting. Punch is not great. Uh, this pass is kind of bad. Let's take this centipede. I don't like any of these cards, honestly. Ooh. Get a fine broker here. It's pretty good Golgari card. There is perfectly good uh, blue and red cards for us, though. Haven't had the chance to play a fine broker yet. That's kind of upsetting. But Golgari's not great anyway. A big old eternal witness type card. Alright, so we got Inescapable Blaze, Capture Sphere, Lead Guild Mage, basically what we're choosing from here. There's also Muse Drake. Muse Drake's actually pretty heavy consideration. Mm. I like the Blaze. 
Let's get some spells up in here. Probably gonna take this disdainful stroke. Start trying to be blue red spell deck. We could take the radical idea too. Stroke has been pretty impressive for me in this format though. I mean, you don't want too many, so this is kind of early to take one. She's probably going to see more, but... It's not like we're giving up much here. Could add that gate deck. Glaive of the Guild Gate is a pretty uh, bad card, though. Another fine broker. Man, we could have had it all. Um, I like informant quite a bit. It's a Demir Locket. I guess we could pick up an Inzit Locket. I guess we could pick up at this point if we wanted to. Collar of the Culprit. It's a pretty good removal spell for white. I'm just going to take the informant. Quite good. Hmm. So nobody wants green and black cards, huh? I guess we'll take this rubble belt bore. I think we're we might be in the wrong color combination here, but I don't, there's not quite anything here that I want to like change my draft for. Jeez. Man, I think we could add a pretty sick Ogari deck. Uh, that's kind of a bummer. We would have got the Gis Lake Guild Mage. Stick to our guns. Whole lot of trash. Is it? I got some okay black cards sitting over here in the sideboard. We need a lot of help. Could play this. Could play Just Guy. Uh... Steamkin is interesting. Kind of just want this Cyclops, though, I think. <clears throat> Hmm. 
Search your library for an instant card and a sorcery card. Reveal it and put it into your hand. Interesting. That's pretty good. I just want a Sonic Assault over Capture Sphere. Invert, invent. Ugh, kinda hate this deck. More cards that are not good for us. Disappearance looks like it is the pick. Ooh, some dragon knots. All right, all right. Could be all right. Muse Drake is also pretty good. Um, I'd rather have this guy though. I should just probably start picking up some sure strikes at some point. Let's grab either this plaza or this guild gate. We'll take the plaza. We can play another disdainful stroke, I suppose. Ooh, another watcher. That's actually pretty good. Kind of needed uh, some more top end here. Wall of Mist, kind of poop. Guess we'll take the Fire Urchin. I don't know how good of a spells deck we're going to be, but I mean, it's easily the best card for us here, so yeah, it's a good one. We do have another pack to go, so. We need to get some more uh, jump start cards. So we have a decent amount of spells. Uh, non creature spells, rather. Isn't she lovely? Let's get another boar. I don't know how many of these guys were playing, but we'll take them. Kurt's not bad. Curse Striker. Um, when you're attacking. Uh, yep. Just open, like, I don't know, Niv Mizzet, a bunch of good spells. I think this is all worthwhile. I probably should have just grabbed the righteous blow there. In case we splash white. Yeah. Well, we got a righteous blow anyway, so I guess that's fine. We probably wouldn't have played more than one. Lich, oh man, the Golgari deck. He's just throwing it in my face. Could have been sick. I'm assuming a foil narc for me, but it's not worth Jack online. <clears throat> Look at all these cards that aren't red or blue. Take another fire urgent. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Remember when Narc Amoebas were like super sought after? Good times. There is Mythic here though too. This Look at this pack. Foil Rare Mythic pack. There's 
the sure strike. I think we want that. <clears throat> this card's cool. I don't know if it's that good, but it's pretty cool. I never see this card. People must take it kind of high. I mean, it's an uncommon, so... I could just not be running into it, but... It seems pretty good. I've never got the chance to play it. Cover up. It's like the only blue slash red card here. Boro skilled gate. I don't think we want at all. I guess. I guess. Could have had f three of these. <clears throat> Let me play a second Sure Strike, probably. Also, this guy who is technically blue. Not a bad card. I don't think we want a third disdainful stroke. Let's just take the sure strike. Second sure strike over third disdainful stroke. I think it's fine. Let me cut us hard. That's okay though. We will muddle through our crummy is it deck. Ooh, radical idea. This card's getting some play, right? Would imagine. It's not getting played at all. I thought I saw somebody playing in modern the other day. It might just be uh, a dream I had. Cause isn't there like there's better versions of that effect, right? So why would you ever play it in modern? Uh, we don't really want any of this. I think I'll just take the second radical idea here. Could add two guild mages too. Wow. <sighs> All right. I mean, I know, I know the card wasn't worth anything. I just meant, like, is it getting played at all, I guess. Let's try to salvage this uh, wreck here. Of 25... it um
deck is pretty bad. Two lands, right? Probably want an extra blue. Guess that's what we're playing. Yeah. All right, let's uh let's try. Do or do not. That is no try. Looks like we got a few people hanging out here. How's everybody doing? I think I see a couple names I recognize in the users. I think this is a if we lose round one deck, we drop and draft again kind of deck. It's a little better. I think I'm going to bottom that. Try to get a two drop. Get an urchin or something. Another land, sure. Come on. So I only have one red mana, so we can't do both of these anyway. Though it's probably better to just tap. Regardless. Yeah. Would have been kind of nice to get the plaza out this turn, but it is what it is. Uh, 
Uh, I guess we sure strike to clear something. There's nothing, and they're not gonna take the damage. We could wait and just play our recruit. Maybe we'll do that. Interesting. I think like that. Still holding up. That's rough. Kind of getting stomped here. Oh, I'm an idiot. I forgot we had the sonic assaults. Oh my god, I'm so bad. We could have forced through way more damage last turn or the turn before. Oh my god, that's the worst. I guess most of our creatures got removed anyway, but we definitely could have uh, dealt some more damage here. Alright, I'm definitely bending the mountain. I think I want these guys. They block pretty good here. They flying so they can fly over the defender. We do have the instant in our graveyard still. With an island to discard. Man. Two prices. Pretty good. 
pretty good. Oh, we got some turtle action down there. Some one flyer's just gonna kill me. Or not. Something bigger, better. Yeah, I'll do it. I guess. God, why am I so bad? I guess we kind of have a turn. I don't know how I'm going to deal with this Drake, though. Oh, good. Point it still has gas. Just what we need it. <clears throat> and a follow up play. Yeah. You got it. Didn't play that game very well. Let's uh, see what the turts are up to. Hey there, buddy. Looking at the camera, he's wondering what's going on. Uh, we literally have nothing to sideboard, so. We should have went Boros this draft. All right. Um. Yeah. Steam vents. Your land is better than my land. Pretty sure we're just going to radical idea here. We need to hit land drops. Alright. I think the Dragonauts could be pretty good. Can we bin the land? I think we draw the land next turn and then the Dragonauts. I think we keep both. Then we can hold up the cover up. Got a leapfrog. Guess we could just hold up the sustainable stroke, get this guy out. 
Yeah, I like that. Get our one point of damage in while the getting's good. idea if they don't stroke draw a card and each opponent discards a card whenever you surveil return it to its owner's hand cards interesting no nope, can't counter that guess we'll discard the radical idea Maybe the counter spell. Not sure. We know we know we're drawing the Dragonauts. Yeah, so we want to draw into land. Nice. Definitely what we want it. <clears throat> Jump start. It's a pretty good draw. <clears throat> Alright, so next turn we can plow through a couple creatures. Aggressive. I gotta have a removal spell for my Dragonauts, right? Yep. Alright. Good news is we can rebuy it. Oh, wow. Um, yeah, that's pretty good. Uh, we can deal for this turn. I 
think I want to use this on the leapfrog to kind of make them replay it and to try to surveil towards a land so we can just six them. So and it just makes it so they don't have counter magic up, right? If they replay the the frog. Do have to draw that land though. Yeah. It's not a land. All right. So what do we want to do? The Sonic Assault defensively. Discarding the boar. Sure. We could have chipped him for one, I guess. All right, well, one card in their hand. All right, game three. No changes once again. Take a quick look at the turt. He's hanging out on some rocks. I don't know where the other guy is. They like to hide under this brush area, so he's probably over there somewhere. Or the or either that or he climbed out when I wasn't looking and he's over on the land section. This deck's uh, surprisingly better than I thought it was going to be. Uh, but still don't think it's very good. Dragonauts. Um, Piston Fists. You know, Sure Strikes and, and whatnot are pretty good together. These boars are actually relatively good in the deck, too. Um, just need a little bit more. Copper Watchers miss. Eh, deck's consistent, at least. You know, we have three boars, two watchers. Um, two disdainful strokes plus a devious cover up for counter magic. Two radical ideas, two urchins, two sure strikes, two recruits. We got consistency down. We are lacking on the the power front a little bit. I guess we can keep this. It's it's kind of rough though. We do have an idea. Yeah, eh, it's kind of rough. We need to draw into red mana plus threat. So like we need two to two things to make this a little more functional. Maybe it was a mulligan. 
Urchin on two could be really good if we draw a mountain. Okay. Wow. All right, that shows our inescapable blaze. I think we're just gonna five them next turn. This does not seem like a great turn for them. Pretty aggressive on our end, but they know about the disdainful stroke. They can play around it if they want anyway. I guess this gives them an opportunity to cast like this, though. But, yeah, maybe should have just held up stroke. Force them to play worse cards. That's pretty bad. Probably can't win this game. Awkward. I mean, it's good, but I want to play the boar and the land. Makes my radical ideal worse.
Mm hmm. We got stroke for his big guy. Yeah, that's that's fine. Oh, right, right, right. I'm just gonna recast this thingy. Okay. So I think we just discard the disdainful stroke at this point. Attack from him seems wrong. Is he going to block? I didn't think so. All right. Freaking discard, man. Watcher was so good. Okay. What it is at nine. Oh, being able to force through damage is pretty good. They are gonna get to uh, take over the game pretty quickly here with their drawing of cards um, if we don't win soon, so. I say. Could have attacked there, forced through some damage, but yeah, it seems not worth it. They could have put. Yeah, they could have put League Gilmage and Rat on onto the Urchin or the Boar and trade it. And then they, they just get to eat the piston. Tax was bad. That's bad. Drawing lands. Also not great.
<clears throat> Where's our crackling Drake? I'm done. We'll keep playing. Deck did better than I expected. We might be able to get 2 1 out of this. It's a big mite, but maybe. Maybe, baby. I'm gonna grab a drink. Yeah, one guy under the bushes over here, and one guy lurking in the cave. Can't quite see him on the camera, unfortunately, but he's there. Oop! Oh, oop! He's moving. Uh, keep. Mono two drops. Up, it's a real two. Not the scariest guild mage in the world. So we play our first striker. Could play urchin actually. We do have a radical idea. Yeah, take that damage. I mean, it's a great card, but still, take that damage. This turn, we're just going to play both our two drops. Holy cow. Dang humans. Ruining everything. <clears throat> uh, 
It'll look pretty suspicious if we don't play both two drops again here, but... Really? Yeah, I'm pretty sure we're gonna hold up a stroke here. I mean, they're gonna know that we're holding up a counter spell, but. <sighs> Better to hold it up this turn. Next turn, we get to play both two drops anyway and still hold it up. Seemed real good for us. Can't counter that. Let's do that. I'm okay with this trade. Apparently they're not. Thanks. So ballsy. I guess they know two of the cards in my hand, but still, man. keep those predict they were going to win us the game Question is, do I want to attack with the watcher?
Well, that was pretty good. The central stroke, not a terrible draw here. <clears throat> At least they're empty handed, I guess. Oh, they got their guy back. That's gonna be a problem now. Yeah. Hmm. <coughs> These games have been so close. The deck's just just not strong enough. Fan noise? Mm, it's probably my computer fan. Let me try this. Is that better? The mic was kind of close to the to the desktop. Uh, we're dead, right? Yeah, we did. I mean, it's seven, but we're dead. Yeah, the mic was on the other side of my keyboard, so it should be a little bit better on this side. Away from the, uh, away from the desktop, uh, tower. What do I play other than draft? I'll do modern, usually, um, haven't played any of this standard, but I do dabble in it a little bit. Uh, but mostly modern and limited, um, where the two, my two go-to formats. Hey, thanks for the follow, appreciate it. Um, yeah, modern, limited. I'm just getting back into streaming. Haven't haven't done so in a while. But you should see me around from time to time now. Oh, this hand's very bad. I'm gonna keep it on the back of this radical idea. I mean the creatures are fine. Too slow, we need a two drop. The good news is if we lose this game we get the drop and draft again. <clears throat> Drop off the top. This card is pretty annoying. Alright, well, got another boar. Push some damage through later. If we ever get uh, anything on the board. Yeah. 
Michael P got all the one and two drops. Sweet, will do. That's a good draw. Also not a terrible draw. I'm gonna play out the Cyclops' turn. They only have access to three mana next turn. <clears throat> and there's a good chance we'll be drawing a card holding up stroke, but let's see what happens. Nothing happened, so yeah, I'm going to offer the trade here. Sweet. Thank you very much again. Thanks for the follow. Um, I'll add you on, uh, on Moto. Hit you up sometime. Thank you very much. Uh, yeah, I think we're going to, we're going to offer to trade with both these creatures. Problem is, what are we discarding? A disdainful stroke? Probably a disdainful stroke. The other thing is, if we trade with, if we trade, like if they offer the two for one, we lose our attacker. Uh, all right, I think I'm gonna do it though. Draw is good, because now we can play Watcher next turn. Oh, right. They have on board. Surveil. I'm dumb. It's like, what do they have for three for Surveil? I thought maybe they had the... Uh, the three drop uh, flash guy but no nope, they just have on board so that's cool I guess the trades still fine it's not quite the two for one I was hoping to get if they trade it but hopefully we get the stroke something here and then play watcher be the ideal situation No, no such luck, huh? Right. Let me play this guy. He's a blocker. <clears throat> and an attacker if we uh, draw a land next turn. Or if we end up playing the disdainful stroke which doesn't look like that's happening and the gorgon is pretty annoying all right at least we get to do this <clears throat> Trade? No, didn't think so.
we have to get we have to get that off the table. Start bailing. Cards rough. I mean, we're nowhere close to killing them right now anyway, so the life link's not too terribly relevant, but um, just the recursion of this card is just kind of frustrating. And the three powers breaking, uh, breaking our attacker. We have to attack anyway. Could make it unblockable, but I think I need to continue to hold up this disdainful stroke. Yep, pretty easy block for them. Yeah, that's counterable. deck didn't quite make it oh I meant to play this no nope. can't play things in your end step that's what we learned today folks cannot play things in your end step If I had this out last turn anyway, I mean, I guess I could have attacked with the sure strike, but that guild mage doing work. House guild mage takes it's, it's like the card is fine, it's just kind of slow, it takes a while to get going, but once it does. It does its stuff pretty well. Do we want to block here? Probably. draw at least. I don't think I want either of these. Gotta find a way to deal with the four or five. Informant. Guess 
Let's go attack for five here. Hmm. Guess we'll use it on the four or five. Could have also bounced our own watcher. Let me think about that for a second, actually. Bounce watcher, replay watcher. Double blocks. It kind of deals with the board. I'm in my combat phase doing this. But we can uh, do it in a second, man. those sure strike would have been okay but I just don't have enough creatures on the board to like really make it uh, worthwhile and they're only they're at 12 which is not not super low Stop the attacking. Well, I want to attack now. Sonic Assault. I can tap two things. Or I guess I just have to tap. this uh, do I don't really have to tap anything you can use this defensively I guess the house guild mage screws everything up Hey Grant, what's going on? Yep. Uh, 
nothing really new. Got a couple new uh, new turtles. Well, that's pretty cool. They're down there in the corner. <clears throat> we have a enclosure over uh, Todd's uh, enclosure because the turtles and the tortoise can't live together. But they're pretty cool. They're super active. Besides that, just working. Nothing really new. Owned by this house guild manager right now. Well, that's pretty good too. But if my flyer could attack, it wouldn't be much of a problem. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, it's interesting. I mean, I just we literally just got the turtles uh, yesterday. So, haven't had to uh, explain it too much yet. Um, but, yeah. It's fun. So, I still have the Dome Them for 6 card in my deck. So, we're going to not quite concede. But, we're pretty close to dead. Ten cards left. Let my watcher on tap. Boo! Boo, I say. Well, now we're dead. <laughs> I wouldn't call this a much of a draft primer. Um, I guess you can learn what not to do. Don't draft, is it? If, uh... If you're being cut off of is it because we were being cut off of is it the whole draft but we still forced it <laughs> don't do that uh, yep we're dead let's see um, that one have done it pretty sure we still had the dome for six yeah blah 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 Everything else in our deck was Garbo. Why couldn't that be there? Alright, uh, this is a bye bye. We'll draft one more time though, so if you want to stick around and watch the draft, that's cool. Um, not going to probably finish out the league, but we're going to draft. Alright, 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 alright. Got some stuff, got some stuff. Um, the rare, not super impressive. Double strike, vigilance, trample, one one for two, whatever. Uh, this guy, quite good. Uh, four four for four, vigilance, and when it dies, get two two twos, which also have vigilance. Deadly visits, good removal spell. Giant is okay. Um, kind of expensive. Clears the board pretty well though. Um, and this uh big. Convoluke Flyer is also pretty good. So we have some decent uncommons to choose from here. I don't think any of the commons quite stand up to them besides the Deadly Visit. 
but we can kind of kind of go whatever direction we want to go here. Yeah, I mean the rare. If you if you if you want to draft like straight Boros Mentor, could be alright. But I actually haven't had the chance to draft Selesnya too much, and I think this card is great. So I think I'm gonna just take it and see. See if we can stay in green white. I don't really like drafting the two colors cards first, but another reason not not to take the rare kind of forces us forces us into Boros, right? Um, I mean, I kind of forced us into Selesnya anyway, but <clears throat> uh, Boros Challenger would have been great with that rare. Maybe we took the wrong two color card. Search your library for a basic forest or plans card to reveal and put it into your hand, then shuffle your library. Mentor is pretty good uh, mechanic, by the way. Blah, 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 blah. Um, I could take this guy. This guy's also quite good. I don't think this card is the best. It seems fine. I'm going to take the Colossus. <clears throat> every time I see this, I think it's niv -Mizzet. It gets me every time. I'm like, why? Why Why is there a niv -Mizzet here? And there's, they're not. There's not. There never is. Um, plus one, plus one for each creature is... Pretty good, I guess. This 2 4 Convoke guy. Oh, there's a Pack Beast. We're, we're definitely going to take the Pack Beast here. It's better than those other two white cards, I believe. Another Pack Beast. Probably just the collar, the culprit. It's also the uh, Sworn Companions, which is definitely a card we wouldn't mind picking up some of. Go a little wide for Convoke. And right now we have the, just the one guy. But this is the Convoke Colors. I think I'll take the collar. <clears throat> Another color, eh? Um, this card's kind of great. This card's pretty, pretty powerful, though. We take it over the common. Another color, and there's a wood shaper, but I think we want one. We want to try to get one of these in our deck. And is an uncommon, so. Kind of unlikely to see it again. We do want to find those token producers for sure now, though. Um, well, I think this is pretty easy. Card just great. Again, we want to find some go wide strategies with it. It's kind of a go wide strategy in itself. But cards, uh, very powerful, very powerful. We got some of the best uncommons for for, uh, for Selesnya already, uh, which is pretty nice. Uh, we could probably pick up a righteous blow here. There's not much else going on. Yeah. I mean, uh, yeah, I was putting it out there. I was putting it out there. We got a four, four, five. We got another color. Um, we got the the join join shield. I don't know how good this card is. Probably gonna take another collar.
Actually, let's play it. Card seems pretty insane with like token strategy, right? Uh, Worm is not great for Selesnia. He's a big dude. And that's the combat trick, and there's a hunted witness. I'll just take the witness here. Get some uh get some early drops. Uh love pack beast, but I'm gonna take the canyons over it. Guardian's kinda meh. More companions. Don't mind if do. Do 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 there is a creature with defender draw a card. Interesting. Alright. So we can put the Guardian in here for now. It's a pretty good start to this Lesney, I think. Pretty good start. Oh no! Oh no! Uh, is Niv worth money? It's gotta be, right? People are playing it. Niv, Miz it the what now? Uh, I guess it's not worth anything. So I don't have to take it. <clears throat> what are we taking? Well, who's, whose day are we going to make here? It's, if, if, if it was in one of my colors, I'd probably go for it, but... Got a lifelink hawk. Man, this pack is just bad for us, too. Screw it. I'm taking Niv. Not gonna make anyone happy on this day. No, sir. Oh, it's only a rare. That's why that card's not worth anything. I always think he should be a mythic. Where'd all our green and white cards go? That's fine, I guess. I haven't got to play this in limited yet either, so that's pretty upsetting. <clears throat> just start taking his at Gilgates and just play uh, four color nonsense with a Niv Mizzet. It's better the three three that gives everybody life or the three two at vigilance. I really like vigilance with convoke. I think peacemaker is fine, but I'm gonna take the vigilance guy. Jeez. <laughs> yeah, I would hope that you'd switch colors at that point. This card's good. But I kind of want to pick up this guild gate. Yeah. We'll get another guild gate. Ooh. Ah, there's another guild gate.
that picks right. No, oh, cool. Got a beetle here, a brightest blow a collar. I'm gonna just take the wood shaper. Been trying to get me one of those in my deck for a while here, so. Uh, what's this do? Like that. Ooh, crushing canopy. I don't think we want a second shields. Probably just take this four three. Could take a locket. Do we want a locket? Take locket. Second righteous blow. I took the locket. Oh, over the canopy. I don't, I don't think I noticed it in the canopy pack. Nice. Ooh. We got two sworn companions. I'm gonna just take the witness. Hunted witness is actually pretty good. Yeah, I mean, we don't want more than one locket anyway, but. Oh. Seems all right. Another big convoke guy here. Guild gate. Yeah, Selesnia colored Sphinx is red. <clears throat> All these cards are kind of even in my opinion. We want the two drop to lower curve a little bit. I think the centaur is pretty good. Peacemaker is probably the worst of them actually. Peacemaker is good against like the, the really aggressive Boros decks but Oh man, we're gonna have Niv Mizza and a Crackling Drake. This is the worst day ever. Worst day ever. This card's kind of a blowout. There's a prey upon here. I don't know what to do. Let's take the more fun card. How many destroy enchantment cards do they need in this set? Uh, 
Try to take this stalwart here. Over wood shaper. Could take the Gorgon. Could also take the combat trick. I feel like Kai Beast, Beast is a really good pickup, actually. I was hoping we'd get a second one. <clears throat> and here we are. Yeah. Scout. Recruit. Vigilance guy. I think the vigilance guy. A pretty good, uh, cheap combat trick. the Skyline Scouts. <clears throat> Alright. Got some work to do here. Tired. I still don't know how I feel about this card. It'll join the shields. Yeah, we're we're considering playing the visit. By the way, I mean, we you know easily easily splashable card in your Selesnya deck, Niv visit. Like we have to at least think about it. <clears throat> Card's kind of um, medium. I only get one collar. I thought I got two. I think I thought I had two because this guy was in my deck. And may have missed an opportunity to take another one um, at some point. But that's okay. Their deck came out pretty good anyway. Don't you tell me that I can't support the splash. Because I'm still pretty sure I can. Oh. Turtles. Turtles light went off. Bedtime for the turts.
Hurts very bad. I think we're ever bringing these in. <clears throat> these cards are all pretty decent sideboard cards right here. Alright, we need four cuts. And I really thought I had another collar. I'm kind of upset that I don't. Probably. Do we need to lock it? I can want all those two drops. I think it's a righteous blow. Maybe to lock it? Probably should count cut this bounty of might. But I wanna play it. <clears throat> is this card is this deck even good? It's got some powerful cards, but I do you think it fell a little short? Whatever, let's we'll try this. Oops. Probably just gonna play one round and then call it a night. OP found. Hands got a sweet curve. This guy, because he has vigilance, if we draw something with convoke, could be relevant. Just blowing this thing out of the way. Still get to make a play a creature. I think it is worth it. I was hoping for one of just not having a, a play here. Removal spell? No. <clears throat> Swamp in the bin. Hmm. Andrew. 
first thing. I can really do about that. Oh boy. This isn't going too well. <clears throat> Everyone has this card. Nice. I was worried that was going to get countered, but it did not. Cool.
going to point it down to two. I'm going to get to attack back for three, six, seven, eight, nine. Game three, go up to five. I feel like attacking with one and playing the sworn companions. So we don't want this just getting free damage in off us. We want blockers for it. We we'll also attack with none and play the four four. I think I'd rather get in two damage here though. Interesting concession. And they weren't technically dead. I mean, they had a, had a guild mage to keep this locked. They could have attacked even to gain some life. Yeah, I think that was a. I think the opponent could have won this game. I, mean, I don't know what's in their deck. Like, they could have found, like. But if they found, like, removal at some point. Yeah. I don't know. Seemed like an early concession to me, but I'll take it. Uh, do we see anything worth bringing in? Righteous blow. Anything for the crushing canopy? Not really. I mean, they are blue decks, so they probably have some flyers, but we didn't see anything. Just run it back as is and see see what we find out. Game two. <clears throat> Scouts did work game one. I guess it was just one for most of it. Canis home. Hello. Hello. I'm streaming. Oh, okay. How's it going? Um, did really bad in the first draft. This oh, one's okay. looking a little bit better, maybe. My deck's definitely better. Oh, no attack. The, the babies? Huh? You got the babies on camera? Yeah, I did. How'd they do? <laughs> they were fine. They were swimming around. Oh, good. Um... I didn't. I didn't check on them since since the light went off. But oh. uh, hey, Willow. Hey. Do you want to just play the other scout here? You know this. I don't mind the trading with the. With a guild mage. Don't play the vigilance, dude. Oh, 
the defense in the world. Wow. Did you eat dinner yet? I did not. Shall I order a burger again? Sure. I mean, I know they're in there, but... Yeah, no, they completely got away. Um, one is in the hive, so in the terrestrial hive, and... One of them was going in and out of the cave a lot. I wonder if that... I think it's pink tail. And the other one is under your, your little water hide. This attack is weird. Why? I'm just gonna get to get damage in now? Or kill something? And it's got vigilance. It's not like it's any skin off my back. I don't think they should have attacked with the 1 4. And they're definitely not the aggressive deck. Alright. Get some scouts out. Hope to draw running lands. You do pack beast, pack beast bounty. Not a land, and we can't cast it. So I guess we're getting in with flyers, which is also fine. They do get to keep something tapped, which is kind of a bummer. They attack with this too. Nah, they just they can just block it with that. I kind of want to block it for the lifelink guy. Kind of a crummy trade, though. <coughs> Whoops. Oh, come on. No way to undo that. Cool. No, nope. I just lost a guy for no reason. Probably cost me this game. Thanks, Moto. Maybe they won't notice. Eh, they noticed. Alright, well, we might be able to still win. We still have really powerful cards in our hand. But that was most unfortunate. I think we're going to trade with the 3 1. I think we have to if they attack with it. Yep. Yeah. I think we have to do this. sucks I mean still opponent only has um, this guy and one card in their hand and their cards on the board suck cards in our hand are very good but we don't have the mana to play them their last card was Quite bad too. I'm 
Yo. Draw a counterspell. You did. Just gonna get chipped away at with one, one fours and one threes. Oh, they surveilled. That makes sense. Play the life linker again. Yeah, that counter spell was so timely. Aggressive by the opponent. <clears throat> Makes sense though. I mean they're gaining life, like they don't, they don't really have much to worry about. Wow. No attack. It's weird. Because they wanted to, wanted to hold up surveil, that makes sense, I guess. That's, at this point, I think they should have been a little more aggressive there, but yeah. the surveil does damage to me too, so they only they're only missing out on one point of damage. Hmm. <sighs> Looks like I'm dead. Yeah. Alright. Bummer. Got a little mana screwed that game. Or mana screwed the first game too. Managed to pull out of it, but. Color of the culprit actually not looking great. Maybe just bring this to the righteous blow. They have a lot of uh, blockers for our early drops. Gonna regret this instantly, but. Alright. Decent hand. the trade with that. They are going to decline. pretty annoying. I was thinking that, like the life linkers could attack through anyway because if they block I have the righteous blow. But now they get to just eat it with that. And let's go attack for two flying. So 
another scout. Four, five, six, seven, eight. If we play Guildgate and Scout, we can play the the Elemental next turn, right? We'll have five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah. Let's do that. There's no attacks this turn, but this elemental is pretty big game. Spell. I think we're going to wait on it. Attack with our flyers. Again, they could just be holding up for surveil. We know they have the four mana counter in their deck. And I think we saw the three mana counter too. I wouldn't put them past them. They also have like the Stanchial Stroke in there somewhere. We hadn't really played anything to uh, to see that. Let's just attack. Let's not do this uh, the wrong way though. Again, I guess it doesn't really matter what the way our mana is, but. Very, very gross. Well, that's lucky, at least. Huh, worst possible draw. Would have been such a good draw, though, if we still had our board. Oh my god. Mm. Yeah, we got none. Decent one. Hopefully, they don't have disdainful stroke. Okay, okay, it's a start. I want to discard. Definitely not this. Uh, is it bounty or is it <sighs> elemental? It's probably bounty. If 
a hard discard though, because I know that card has so much potential to get a lot of damage in. Probably the counter spell for us here. <coughs> we'll play the card they know about anyway. It's unfortunate that I couldn't play both. about that. Board's got a million cards. What else are we doing? <clears throat> ah, that was rough. I think we could have won the match. Uh, game two, we screwed up a little bit with our with the moto moto issue. Um, not certain we would have won that anyway, um, but I do think the match was good for us. Um, so I'd have to go back and watch the games and see what I could have done differently in some of them. But I think we could have. I think we could have got there that that match. So that's kind of a disappointing loss. It's been all losing for me tonight, but that's okay. We had some fun drafting. We forced is it in uh, in a round or uh, in the first league we played. Forced uh, is it deck didn't didn't pan out. Somebody was definitely cutting us hard. Probably should have been Golgari that draft. Um, there was there was lots of good Golgari cards going around. Golgari's not the best. Uh, in the format, but um, I think we would have had a much, much more solid deck had we uh, had we picked up on that a little bit sooner. As far as this draft goes, I think Selesnia was a good call. Um, I think our deck came out pretty good. Had a lot of strong playables. We even had some cards that we would have liked to play but didn't. Um, but yeah, just didn't get there against Demir in uh, in round one here. So hopefully this is a two-one. Um, I'll probably finish it up the next time I stream, which I think it's going to be on Monday. Um, at least going to try to, if I'm not on over the weekend at all. Yeah, I think, I mean, this deck is much better than the Is It deck, but the Is It deck too was kind of like doing the same thing where like I was just falling a little bit short. So I'm not sure. I'm not sure how to feel about this deck. I think. I think it has a lot of strong cards. Like it has some, uh, it has some of the best Selesnya cards in it. So um, we didn't really get to do anything crazy cool, like cast this Bounty of Might on some some nuts things. We didn't get to cast this yet. Um, haven't got our champion to survive at all. We haven't cast this guy yet. So three games didn't really get to 
get to play with a lot of our really powerful spells. But, um, yeah. Um, like I said, next time I stream, I'll finish up the draft real quick, and then we're probably going to be playing some modern for that for that uh, stream. But uh, thank you all for watching, and have an awesome night, and I'll see you next time. Adios.